Shifting Sand or Solid Rock, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong, and as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Matthew chapter 7, starting in verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. We live in ever shifting times. We live in a, a time when right and wrong is somehow uh, uh, attributed to the latest poll numbers, where if a certain number of people believe a thing is right, then it's rightness. If a certain number of people believe a thing is wrong, it's wrong. That's not how right and wrong are determined. Right and wrong, good and bad, uh, they're all settled in eternity. That's not something that is uh, that we can merely sort of guess at and use opinion polls to determine. And so we live in times when we hear this or that or the other thing has been uh, determined to be right or wrong. We need to have a, a more certain way of determining that. And the only way that we can find that out is if we are conversing in the Word of God. The Word of God is settled forever in heaven, the Bible says. It is seed to the sower, bread to the eater, always accomplishing the purposes whereunto it is sent. That means that if I'm going to find out what right and wrong are, I need to find out what God's opinion about right and wrong are. And he has that in his word. So my question is, we're, I think we're a little bit too familiar with the Gallup polls and what the latest uh, op-ed pieces say and the news commentators say, but we've lost what the word of God says. I, I talk to Christians all the time that know more about what their favorite news network says than what the Bible says. How are we going to rectify that? I believe you and I need to spend some serious time assessing how much of the Word of God we're getting into and how much the Word of God is getting into us. We need to have both of those things. Do you have a plan to get to know the Word of God? If you're just depending on the time that you spend on Sunday morning to get to know the Word of God, you are robbing yourself and you are living a life below the level of mediocrity. What are you doing to get the Word of God into you every day? You need to be reading the Word of God every day, at least a chapter a day. Open up your Bible, read it, find out what God has to say to you. Now, very simply, you can read in just three or four chapters, you can read through the entire Bible in one year. And if you'll do that, you'll be way ahead of the bulk of believers that are on the planet. And you should do that repeatedly, year after year. There are various programs that you can get. Hey, this is my... My little guy is out here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to wrap up our time together. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. Pray that you would bless us. Just give us your strength today. Help us to learn to dig into your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. Have a good day. I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Bye.